To take account of what happened during the 2021 session and the business that's still unfinished, we're joined by Sarah Ulmer. She covers the state capitol for uallpolitics.com. And Sarah, uh, talk to us. What are the major accomplishments from this session that you found? Thanks for having me tonight. It has been a pretty busy legislative session. Some of the accomplishments that, in, that have been uh, pushed through this year include obviously the teacher pay raise. That was one of the first bills that came up in the Senate this year. We also st saw a state employee raise up to 3%, as well as criminal justice reform, which was an effort that we saw in 2020 that eventually failed on the governor's desk. We also saw a bill that would allow for a universal occupational licensing, which would be really great for Mississippi's workforce. Um, and of course, seeing the finalization of a Medicaid tech bill is always wonderful to see when that comes up and a balanced budget coming from uh, an agreement from the House and the Senate. Well, last year's session was marked by a division among the legislative leaders and the governor. Are they more on the same page this year? Well, you know, everybody has an opinion, whether you are a civilian or you are a politician. And as we see, we have very different individuals that are in our lieutenant governor, governor, and speaker of the House positions. But I know that they are trying to work together. A lot of their goals are similar. I think the question is, how do we go about them? Um, for instance, Governor Reeves mentioned before the beginning of the session that income tax was something that he wanted to see happen. Uh, the speaker offered a piece of legislation this year. The lieutenant governor has said they want to look at it, but that they didn't feel quite comfortable in passing that policy. So I think that we are definitely seeing people try to work together. It's just a matter of can we get to the solution the same way and can we agree on how to get there? But I do think we are, are seeing that most of the bills that have been sent to the governor, to my knowledge, have been signed. Um, there's nothing that he has said so far that indicates he doesn't plan to sign any. Um, and so we'll just have to kind of wait and see what his evaluations are on the legislation that they've sent forward. Yeah, we just heard from the Lieutenant Governor. What are the chances that we're going to see a special session when it comes to dealing with this pandemic money or this COVID money? Well, it's always up in the air with, with a special session called by the governor. What we've heard so far, particularly from the Speaker and Lieutenant Governor, is there is not a timeline uh, as quickly as CARES Act money had to have this money appropriated. Um, I know the Speaker has mentioned that they believe that they can get it done in coming back in the next session in January. Um, but it will all just kind of depend on when that money gets to Mississippi, as well as what the guidelines from the, the federal Treasury look like on it. But all indicators say that we'll probably come back for a normal session in January um, unless something were to happen between now and then that changed that mindset. Right now there is a bill be, be, to reform parole before the governor. Is the governor likely to sign it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what bill? Right now there's a, a, a bill before the governor about the, to reform parole. Is the governor likely to sign that Parole they do believe bill. that he's like he, they do believe that he's likely to sign that legislation. It was offered in a form last year in Senate Bill 2023 or 2123, and it was vetoed by the governor. And he explained, uh, from what I know from talking to the chairman, why he vetoed that. He thought it was a little too expansive. It covered too many individuals. Speaking with Chairman Barnett after the bill was passed in the Senate just a few days ago, he said that uh, they have made some adjustments, they have made some compromises with the governor, and they feel very confident that this is a piece of legislation um, that will be really great for Mississippi's criminal justice reform and that the governor uh, will approve that. Anything surprise you out of this session this year? Well, there's always, always surprising things. I think for some people, there was a little bit of surprise um, in the shooting down of the Outdoor Stewardship, Stewardship Trust Fund Act, would have gone, which would have gone to conservation efforts in Mississippi. It was a proposal offered by the House. There was just con some concerns on the Senate side about that tax sales tax diversion and how we would um, fix that hole in the budget by moving that money around. Um, you know. I think the surprises with the, the legislature come in the process. Um, we've all gotten to a result on everything, but there were a couple of those things that Tal mentioned, um, the, the removal of the language for postpartum care up to 12 months for pregnant women under the Medicaid Tech Act. I think senators were surprised and upset to see that gone, but uh, there were indications today that that measure may not be dead. They may come back in, the, in January and try to pass a separate piece of legislation that deals with that particular code section.